Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to your Daily Five for April 28th, 2023. I'm Joe Duarte from Joe Duarte and the Money Options.com, op author of the best selling options trading for dummies. Number one, thanks to you. If you like what you hear today and see, please consider a free trial to my website, Joe Duarte and the Money Options.com. Today, we're going to be talking about the evolution of megatrends. If you saw my last video, uh, then you're familiar with what I'm talking about. But don't worry if you didn't. I'm going to be reviewing everything. And I'm going to show you how things are actually changing fairly rapidly. So today, we're going to be discussing investing in the repurposing of office buildings, which is a direct uh, uh, offshoot of the megatrend that we're seeing, which, of course, I'll be discussing and reviewing in a second here. So today's goal is to pinpoint winning investments as megatrends evolve, and we want to define what a megatrend is. We want to identify what the megatrend of the moment is and how it evolves, and we want to pick those investments that will profit from the megatrends and the evolution. So quick review here, a megatrend is a, fun a fundamental new direction or dynamic that changes society in an evolutionary way. Think of the internet, the internal combustion engine, that kind of big, big thing. Uh, more importantly, we want to see how that megatrend is reflected as a behavioral pattern in society that will actually steadily attract investor capital for a period of years. So we're talking about making money for a long period of time. So to identify a megatrend, you have to pinpoint a special event uh, or initial event and uh, how the population behavior changes and then get those winning investments. Real quick review here. Uh, Real-time megatrend analysis. Uh, you got a, the, the initial event that has changed everything is the COVID pandemic, and we know how it changed everything, so I'm not going to go into details. But I do want to pinpoint the fact that people left the cities, they went to suburbs, they went for different state, uh, to different states, and the key here is work from home became the norm. That's what we're really going to be focusing on today. So who benefited from all this stuff? Well, the big benefactors have been the uh, housing sector, the home builders, moving companies. Commercial real estate has gotten clocked, especially uh, office buildings that, that are empty. And uh, uh, real estate investment trusts that specialize in that are losing money. Now, the megatrend is actually evolving. And let's look at the mainstream focus. If you read the news, all you read about is commercial real estate is imploding. I've written plenty about it. Uh, you've seen my articles in stockcharts.com and my website. Uh, you've seen more detail in my Buy Me a Coffee page, which I'll tell you about a little bit later. And what's happening is low occupancy rates in commercial buildings and loan defaults. That's what you read about every day. Our focus, though, is how the market is adjusting because businesses are adjusting. And what you're seeing is a beginning of repurposing of office buildings into residential housing. So the big question is who benefits? And of course, you can't do anything in the stock market without knowing what the Fed is doing and how the bond market is reacting. So a quick look here, Fed funds rate going straight up. The Fed's gonna do it again in May. It's, it's, it's almost guaranteed, but look at the bond market. The U.S. 10-year note bond yield uh, it basically topped out in uh, October 2022 and has been retracing a very bullish, in this case, pattern, which is uh, lower lows and lower highs. And now that yield is below that 200-day moving average. And anything that stays below there, as long as it stays below there, you know, it's, it's actually a bullish development. And that is actually changing a lot of things. So let's look at the at the first really bullish uh, development here, uh, the real estate investment trusts. Okay, and this is the Dow Jones U.S. Real Estate uh, ETF symbol IYR. And you can see that it's been in a downtrend for the entire year. Guess what? As bond yields have started to drop, this ETF is actually bottoming out. You can see by accumulation distribution that the short sellers are slowly getting out on um, balance volume is telling us that buyers are starting to come in here this is flattening out i mean short sellers getting out buyers starting to poke around that's a bullish development a lot of this has to do with some real estate investment trusts 
especially ones I've recently recommended on my website that are specializing in apartment uh, are starting to perk up because lower interest rates and the whole mega trend dynamic that's evolving. So what else can benefit from this new and exciting development? Uh, how about building materials? If you're going to change your office building into uh, apartment building, you're going to need to buy building materials. You need that gypsum board. Uh, you need screws, nails, hammers, everything, tools. That's what we're seeing. Short sellers are getting out of the building materials. Uh, again, this ETF, XLB, uh, clearly in a consolidation pattern. But again, short sellers getting out, buyers starting to poke around. And so what we're seeing here is a very slow but steady change in the way people are looking at real estate investment trusts. And of course, what we want to see with XLB here is the price take out these two big volume by price bars, which are pretty stiff resistance at the moment. And what will probably happen is we'll see that on balance volume start to tick up as this uh, price area here start getting challenged. So what's next? All right. So you have apartment buildings uh, or uh, office buildings that are about to be turned to apartment buildings. We have to redo the entire internet infrastructure for that building. And so the telecommunication stocks, the Vanguard Communication Service in, uh, ETF, VOX, again, very similar pattern to the other two ETFs. You can see here the same thing, short sellers getting out rising accumulation distribution, uh, on balance volume, steadily uh, flattening out, which means some buyers are starting to recognize this. And here's the big thing. This ETF is above its 200-day and its 50-day moving average, and it's starting to challenge this big volume by price bar. So again, what we want to see here is a nice uptick in on balance volume, a continuation of the ADI. Uh, rising, which would mean, again, a bullish combination of short sellers getting out and buyers coming in. So to recap, not only do you have to identify the mega trend, you have to identify how the mega trend evolves. And that means that you have to identify those societal changes that will fuel those investment profits for years, but you have to monitor the evolution of the mega trend. If all you do is read the news and all you're seeing in real estate investment trusts is negative, defaults, empty buildings, and all that stuff is true. But at the same time, you have to be able to, to, to see beyond that and note that uh, real estate investment trusts that are specializing in apartments are actually starting to do well. And as long as those interest rates stay below that 3.5 yield on the 10-year note, the odds favor a continuation of that. what I think at this point is a very bullish emerging trend. So again, you find those sectors that will benefit. Uh, and you've got to wait for that catalyst. You know, the Fed's going to raise rates again in May. That means that we might get a bunch of bumps in the road. But that's not the point. Megatrends last a long time. We stick with it and we look and see how everything sorts itself out over time. So if you want to invest in REITs at this moment, you have two choices. You can build positions slowly ahead of the expected change or you can wait for the Fed. OK, uh, I prefer to nibble at these ET, uh, at these REITs at the moment. And, uh, you know, and then we'll see what happens when when the Fed raises rates again. That's all I have for today. I'm Joe Duarte from Joe Duarte in the moneyoptions.com, author of the best selling options trading for dummies. Thanks to you. Now, if you want to subscribe to my website, you can take a two week free trial and it doesn't cost you a cent. You can check out what I do and how I do it. If you want more detail, uh, expanded coverage of what I do on my website, buy me a coffee. I love coffee. Check out my buy me a coffee page. Great to be here today. Remember, trading is uncertain and we always have to be prepared.